All right, Brock Thay Howell. Brock Thay Howell. Brock Thay Howell Shy. Brock Thay Howell Shy. And we want to give double hundred and glory to Yahweh Bar Shy. We want to give double hundred to the apostles of the great millstone rule well. We also want to say peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, I was a hobby to my right. Kaiser one. And today we're going to go into a topic and uh, describing how a so-called white privilege is one of the uh, the uh, the benefits of Esau's kingdom. All right, because, you know, we say that we're in Esau's kingdom. This is the so-called white man's rulership. But, you know, a lot of us, we might not, we might forget to put into context the reality of Esau being in his kingdom. Okay. All right, and why you at the bottom and he at the top, you know? Uh, part of white privilege is the illusion of white supremacy, man. But with that, we're just going to go on with uh, Psalm 73, verse 2. All right. It's Psalm 73, verse 2. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well night slip. Yeah, my my steps had uh, well night slip because this is basically King David speaking. I think that's King David in Psalms. Psalm 73. Psalm uh, Asaph. Okay. okay. But the point is, all right, that's like us in America, man. I feel almost slip. All right, go ahead. For for I was envious at the foolish when I when I saw prosperity of the wicked. I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, man. But part of that prosperity is to, uh so called uh, white privilege. That's what the intel of Esau's kingdom, man. He can do things you can't, man. You get checked, he don't have to get checked, man. All right, you you gotta have this extremely perfect credit store score. You have to have this, that, and the third to move into a decent neighborhood. He don't have that stuff, man. I uh I was working on a house in a neighborhood. We were delivering to a particular neighborhood, and it was one of those, I guess you call it subdivisions, where every house was about half a million bucks. But somebody put me on game. That was like, with, with the uh, when it comes to Edomites getting these houses, they have a low mortgage, so it'll be. Uh, a half a million dollar house, but they're not paying anything but seven, eight hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. But they're not going. You think they're going to give you that same privilege, man? Fuck no. Sorry, go ahead. All right, I got pre-sale. All right. I right, just uh, Deuteronomy twenty-eight and forty-four. He should lend to thee, and that should not lend to him. All right. That he is Esau, man. See, a nigga, man, he'll get proud because he got on new drawers. He'll get proud because he had sex with a woman you probably ain't had sex with, man. Is he lending to anybody, though? Mm -hmm. Is Jake, like, Jake, are you lending out laws to people, man? You so, you've so been so institutionalized in your captivity, you don't know what real power is, man. Come on. All right, go ahead. He, sh he, should be, he should be the head, and that should be the tail. That's the intel. That's the outcome of Esau being in, in power, man. That's a form of power when you could lend out money. Because what it say is in, in Proverbs... The borrower is, is serving to the lender. Okay? The borrower is serving to the lender, man. All right, go ahead. All right, this uh, back, back at Psalm 73 and 4. For there's no bands in their depths, mm -hmm. but there's no strength in it, it's, it's firm. Mm -hmm. They are not they not trouble as other men, neither they are played like other men. Yeah, it started with the elites, man, the Rothschilds, man. They're not in trouble as other men. We catch a hell every damn day. We we fight to survive, man. Our whole our whole mindset is surviving, paying the bills on time. Okay, go ahead. Therefore, pride compassion them about as a chain, violence covers thee as a garment. Come. Cool. Yeah. They got this whole world through violence. All right. Come. Cool. The eyes should stand. The eyes should stand out with, with fatness. That they have more than which the hawk and wish. Yeah, because what are the Rothschilds worth now? About $700 trillion, man. Here you are struggling to pay your damn light bill. You got to go half on a rent with another man. You know, he got to help you out of shit. Or you got to move in with your woman. But, man, they, they got $700 trillion. You can't even fathom that amount of your mind. I know I can't. All right? But that's that's the that's the result and the reality of... He he having a kingdom right now. He's in his kingdom. That's what that means. All right. Come on, I got to preach that, bro. Okay. I just have a two and four and five. Be behold, his soul which is lifted up, it's not upright in him. Yeah, it's my Esau perverted spirit. Go ahead. But the just should live by faith. Uh -huh. He also, he also because he trespasses, trespasses, trespasses against by wine, 
Yeah, he trans he transgressed by wine, which is philosophies that he ruled the world with. Go ahead. He is a proud man. Never keep it at home. He never keep it at home. That's why he has military bases stretched out throughout the world, man. All right. Who enlarges his desire as hell. So like he desire as hell and as as death. It cannot be satisfied. Yeah, because starting with the Native Americans and ending with the, the resources of the countries overseas, man. His ulterior motive is to take their resources. He enlarges his desire as hell. Go ahead. It cannot be satisfied. But gather unto him all nations, he unto him all people. Come, go ahead. Oh, that's him. Okay. And you know, that's, that's like you know, he had the fattest. You know, he he take what he want. Yeah. You know, yeah. he 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 don't have enough. You know, he won't and won't and won't and won't. Okay. You know, he got he got everything, but he still he still won't. Yeah. Mm. Come. So, uh, let me start back over. This uh, so you can start at seven. Yeah, start at seven. Uh, it's a Psalm seventy three and seven. The eyes, the eyes should stand out with fatness. They have, they have more than heart can wish. They are corrupt, speaking wickedly, concerning oppression. They speak lowly. All right, lowly. Come on, let me see where we at. Uh, verse loftily. Loftily. All right. They speak proudly, man. They, they don't have any concern for for Jake, man. All right, they don't, they don't care. If they didn't pay us for slavery, they didn't they, they don't care, man. Okay. You can pay minimum wage, they don't care. Alright. They sit their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walking through the earth. The tongue is the philosophy, man, democracy, westernization, uh Christianity, which is part of westernization. Alright. Therefore his people return hither and the water of a full cup or run out to run out to them. Mm -hmm. And they say how do the Most High know? And and is there knowledge in the Most High? Go ahead. Behold, these are the un. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches because that's the that's the result of so-called white privilege, and that's the reality of Esau getting his rulership. But man, we you know there's just something we gonna have to endure, man. Some brothers might, you know, you'll go through that temptation like, man, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. It's Esau's power, man. In the kingdom, you ain't got to bust your ass for nothing, man. You're just going to have it. Right now, they have it because they're in their kingdom. You got some brothers? Yeah, I got another one. This Psalm 52 and 7. Lo, lo, so like, lo, this, this the man who may not, who may not the most high his strength, yep. but trust in abundance of his riches yep. and strengthen himself in wickedness. And strengthen himself with wickedness, man, because your foundation was through bloodshed. The way you maintain your riches is through robbery, deceit, you know? So, hey, well, actually, that's it on Psalm 73. But it's something that we want to get into, man. White, So-called white privilege is the intel of his kingdom. That's the result of his kingdom. But we at the end of your kingdom, man. Uh -huh. Now we're about to have the interest of, of Yahweh Shai's kingdom, in which we are a part of. So we gonna wake up and get our hearts desire, man. Come on. But they'll just you know to uplift brothers and to further edify. You got any, any closing statements? Hey, with that, I hope brothers edify to the next lesson. Shalom. Shalom, Israel.